sounds really sad. It sounds really sad. And look, it is sad in, in some ways. My dad loved the bones of me, of all of us. I mean, like, you know, I don't think it would have been possible for a human being to love his children more than my dad did. But he never told us because he was of that generation. And because he never told us, we never told him. And it was actually when he was dying, like he was in the hospital and one day, now it wasn't kind of the, the very end, but one day in the kind of his last illness, and I was in the hospital with him and I thought, I, I'm go I need to say this out loud because I kind of knew he's not going to be around much longer. And I can't bear for him to die and me never to have said I love you. And I just said it to him. <laughs> One of the most awkward moments <laughs> of both our lives, and I could kind of see his face when I said it. That he kind of, you could see him kind of go, oh "God, I'm dying. How much I yeah. saying this to him?" Yeah. And then he said it back, and he nearly choked saying it back. Yeah. It, and then we both kind of went, "Great, Grant. Okay, yeah. bye, right, bye." Yeah. No, I never said it. It didn't need to be said. Yeah. And you know, so it's, it depends on what you're used to. We are much more demonstrable, you know, with affection nowadays, and I'm glad we are. But it didn't mean uh, it didn't mean that our parents' generation didn't love us yeah. just yeah. as much. Yeah. No, they did, but they, they weren't able to say it. And I think now, you know, they did, but they, they weren't able to say it. And I think now, you know, if you're a widow or a widower, and if, unless you have young grandchildren, who is there to, to physically hug you? Yeah. To give yeah. you a hug. I mean, there's a certain stage in your life where there may be nobody there that you're that close to or that intimate with, but you can get a hug. Police, John, and most parents, you know. I remember with our kids when they were smaller, you know, you could get like a fur or worm to each eye, yeah. one top the nose, one here, one there, you know, just loads of little kisses. And with children, any, I think anybody who has children knows that they are the ones that lunge for your lips, they're the ones that yeah. want that, because that, that's it's the, one of their ways that they can give you affection as they get older. And it's it's just like he's a little boy of five, like how long will he be comfortable even giving his mum? You know, a kiss here or yeah. Yeah. they come to the stage when they just make the most of it. Make the most the precious years you've had. Big kiss and a hug every always. time. Always. Every time I see him and every time I leave him. And sometimes when we're standing in the kitchen, I just like always feel the need to give my mum and dad hugs and kisses. Where my mum's only child and I grew up in the house with my granny and constantly I'm like, oh god, I better just hug them now. And it's like, yeah. and if I didn't, I, I, I'm just like, I can't tell.